Hello, my name is Gustavo Sosa. I'm going to another video from ST Microelectronics. In this video, we will present how to use and set up the hover button is clicked at interactions. It is an easy way to interact with the hardware. We will create two screens and will change between the screens either with the hover push button at the board or the button at the screen. In the first approach, we'll be pulling the hover button and at the second step by external interrupt. In this video, we will create the UI in TouchFX. In another video, we will finish the implementation at CubeID. We will use the TouchFX Designer and the STM32 CubeID. The hardware will be the STM32H735 Discovery Board with a 4.3 inches 480 by 272 TFT and as a microcontroller, a STM32H735 with 1 mega flash and 564 k of RAM. Select the STM32H735 Discovery Kit application template and blank UI. To create the UI, for the first screen, we will add a white box, logos images, Navigate to the folder where you have the images. We will load ST logos. We add the second logo image. A dark blue box. A round button used to change the screens and a text to identify the screen. We add a second screen, select and copy all the widgets from the screen 1 to screen 2. Change the dark blue box to a light blue and change the text to number 2. Now generate code. After generation is complete, open project location by the folder icon at the bottom right. With a text editor, open the TouchFX project file with extension TouchFX. Scroll down until you find physical buttons. Now, add the buttons you want to be identified inside TouchFX. For each button, between brackets, you need to add key number and the name. We add the button needed and add an extra just an example on how to add more than one button. This step is only necessary if you want to identify the buttons inside TouchFX, but it's not mandatory if you want to use the hardware button is clicked. Save the file and return to TouchFX. TouchFX will ask if you want to reload the project, click on yes. Generate code. It is time to add interactions. Go to the right side and click Add Interactions. Add a new interaction. A trigger select the button is clicked. This is for the button at the screen. At Source, select the button 1. At Action, change the screen. And lastly, choose Screen 2. Add another interaction. A trigger select hardware button is clicked. This is for the physical button at the board. At source, select zero hardware push button. Is what we did at TouchFX project file. At action, change the screen. And to finish, choose screen two again. We will repeat at the screen two. We will add two interactions. One for the button at the screen and another for the hardware button. But now we'll change to screen one.
generate code. After generation, open the project folder location from the folder icon at the bottom right. Navigate to the stm 32 cube ID folder and open the cube ID project. See you at next part where we will do the implementation at cube ID. Thank you for watching.